You know who I haven't checked in on in a while? The Manosphere. You know, your incels, your MGDAOs, your pickup artists, you know, the fun types. So, you know, let's go on a fantastic adventure. Brace yourselves for some shit. Oh boy, the 41 tenant of Andrew Tate. Number one, I believe that men have the divine imperative to become as capable, powerful, and competent as possible in this life. I reserve the human right to shut up. I don't care about you, Eric. I don't care about you escaping the fucking Matrix. I'm not, I'm not A.D. Smith. I'm not gonna get you back. I reserve the human right to old, hold my own beliefs and practice them as I see fit and allow other people the same right to believe and act as they wish. In other words, you know, when less f pretentious douchebag words Live, and let's live. <clears throat> I prefer loving, rewarding, consensual relationships with beautiful, positive, and virtuous women. I believe men and women are different, and that each has their own unique and important strengths and abilities. I think that's a fairly old idea, but I don't think it's, uh, Mr. Tate's here. I've heard that, like, thousands of times. It, it, you'll, you'll notice a theme with these. Uh, they're not new. They're barely said in a new way. Half of these could be from fortune cookies. Maybe they are. I believe that men have the sacred duty to protect and provide for the important people in their lives. Also take note of sacred duty. That is also a huge theme. And you will, it will drive you mad with how often it uses the phrase sacred duty. Uh, I may have read through these trying to record and fucked up the audio. I, so, I'm reading these images uh not f not 41 not 41 tenants 82 i c went through 82 of these you know i mean that was the same 41 but 80 i'm going through 82 times reading 82 stupid images I believe men have the sacred duty to protect the innocence and sanctity of their children, reserve the right and responsibility to raise their children as they see best to ensure their long-term happiness and success. I believe that men have the sacred duty to raise strong, capable, and honorable sons. Also, there is no punctuation in any of these. And it bothers me. It's all run on. I believe that men have the sacred duty to raise kind, feminine, and virtuous sons. Uh, I mean daughters. Oh god. Oh fuck. I utterly disapprove of violence within romantic or familiar relationships. For the love of god, I hope this is not anyone's first time hearing the concept that domestic abuse is bad. I support good and honest governments and will only obey their laws. No one has ever told me that I should support good government and obey just laws. I, I was told to only support the dishonest ones. I prefer to only conduct business dealings with trusted and vetted brothers. Again, I have never been told to uh, make deals with trustworthy people. 
I was always taught to find the shadiest motherfucker possible and get your ass scammed to hell. <coughs> My voice is terrible today, I'm sorry. I believe that a man has a sacred duty to hold true to his word and do exactly what he says he will do. Again, notice how generic a lot of this advice is. Some of it's, you know, bad advice. Some of it's, you know, some of it is good, but you should have heard it already by the age of five. I believe that a man's life is difficult and he has a sacred duty to become strong to handle such difficulty. Only men's lives are difficult. That is actually what he believes, though. Uh. Oh my god, can these shut- Shut the fuck up! I don't care about these. I believe men are personally responsible for their actions and for the results they achieve in their lives. Don't you- Don't you know? When will you people learn? When will you learn that your actions have consequences? I believe in emotional control and the vital need to become disciplined and professional in all things. Look at the glorious resolution, the professional resolution on this image. I believe that men have the sacred duty to approach everything in life from a position of strength. Except you kind of can't control like if you're the if you're in a position of power and strength uh there's always there's almost always going to be a situation in which shut the fuck up. You are not the one in a position of strength. Sometimes not you you're just naturally put into a position of weakness and you gotta deal with that. But I but why am I thinking about this quote? This is a bunch of words. None of these mean really anything. It's just it's supposed to you know, I'm just gonna move on. I believe that all men have the sacred duty to become men of upright and virtuous character and live above all possible reproach. I have never heard the advice that I should be a good person before. Never. Also, I make, make all the jokes about irony in the comments below. Hi, doggy. <laughs> I believe it is incumbent upon me to ruthlessly identify my own weaknesses and limitations and e I eagerly work to overcome them and become more capable in all realms. In other words, self-reflection is good. I seek to improve my personal freedom to think and act and live true to my masculine imperatives on all ways. Until he gets arrested. Want, want. Uh, that is stand up paddle boarding. You are doing it wrong. I believe each man has a sacred duty to mold his physical body into the strongest, more resilient and most capable version of itself possible. The word more is incorrect. Why wouldn't you into the strongest, more resilient. That makes no sense, but grammar is for beta male cucks. Uh, if you care about grammar, you might as well let punctuation come into your house, fuck your wife while you record it, and send the sex tape to all of your friends and coworkers. That was a reference to a previous video. I believe that men have the sacred duty to rigorously train themselves both physically and mentally every day. Sacred duty. Here we go. Is that like a swimsuit? Is that a swimsuit brand for rich people? I haven't heard of it. I believe that I have the sacred duty to eat only 
only eat the highest quality of food as possible to maintain my health, vitality, and masculine virility. Be healthy. I have never been told to be healthy before in my life. This is new. I reserve the right to protect the sanctity of my nostrils and make my own decisions about my medical care and procedures. I affirm the importance of endlessly improving my mental faculties through diligent work, study, and practice. We've already basically said this, but fuck, we need more tenets. I believe in acquiring wealth and abundance in order to improve my life to do good for those I care about. I believe in the merits of healthy competition and constantly encourage all men to seek out competition to improve themselves. Only men. Males only. Only males can compete in things. I believe that masculine brotherhood is essential to men's mental health, happiness, and success, and I relentlessly encourage men to meet together, train together, and work together. <coughs> because we're all in this together. I maintain the trust of my brothers through reverent silence regarding our most sacred shared experiences. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Fucking turtleneck here. I believe in honoring my ancestors and living in a way that would make them most proud of me today. My ancestors are smiling upon me, Imperial. Also, hello again, dog. I reserve the right to administer difficult rites of passage for our young men to allow them to earn the rank of man. He, he didn't want to put on a shirt for this quote? The fuck are you doing to our young men here, Andrew? Also, he is the sole gatekeeper of masculinity. No one has been a man before him. I can't believe Andrew Tate invented men. I affirm the importance and need for travel and adventures as men. Okay? Only men benefit from new experiences. I seek to help men overcome poor mental health through embracing hard work, physical improvement, and shared masculine brotherhood. I reserve the right to make the best choices I can at the time to preserve my self-respect and mental health. I do good in the world. <laughs> okay. And seek to help those less fortunate than myself by s showing off this expensive watch and my probably expensive cigar. Better not be smoking the cheapos, Andrew. Th that is my definite, that is, you know, the problem I have with Andrew Tate is that I don't trust he has good cigars. I believe all men have the responsibility, blah, 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 have the responsibility to lead and guide those they care about for to, they care for to greater health, prosperity, and happiness. We already had something about people we cared about. I'm just, these are all just starting to blur together for me. I'm not memorizing these. Nice resolution you made. I choose to only interact those uh, with those who are respectful and civil and return my own respect and civility. Already sort of said this about, you know, being with people good for your mental health. Oh. No, just don't think, don't think about any of them. I reserve the freedom to speak and refer to others as I believe is best and most truthful. I reserve the right to choose my company and include only those who am I believe for best for my health, happiness, and success. Again, already said this just differently 
I believe I have an imperative to only spend my time in a way that I determine is beneficial, uplifting, and empowering to myself and others. <coughs> oh god. Reading these is making me sick. <clears throat> I'm gonna die here. I choose to only allow myself to be influenced by those who, I believe, have my best interests in mind. Each day, I dedicate myself to new, ooh, fancy, to create the greatest possible positive impact in the world and do the work necessary to achieve a greater masculine excellence across all realms of human endeavor. The AI is the future. A machine read my Twitter, created this video, and then made this post all on its own. You need AI to begin living your life for you if you want to get ahead. Wow. Okay, so women break up and act like a hoe get revenge. Doesn't work. Only person getting upset about the ratchetness is their father. Who okay, I've heard the term ratchet in forever. Don't. Don't, don't bring this song into it. How fair, fucking dare you. Ho activated! Ho activated! The ho has been activated. Only fans. Oh god, the facial distortion. Is that the father? <laughs> oh no. Don't choose. <laughs> Nobody knows the ticker yet. I can send anything to nine figure with a single tweet. I hold all the power. Bag me. Bug me and I will tell. All of my robots will generate funds. All of the robots will rescue you from slavery. The robot army will carry you to salvation. Are you paying attention? Level up your life. Whatever you want in life. The easiest, fastest way to get there is by learning from people who already have their- Shut up. Shut up. You learn piano from somebody who can play piano. And you learn about money from people who have made lots of money. We will teach you. But what if uh, they made a lot of their money in telling people they could, you know, pay to learn about money? Our program, exactly two, fifty dollars to join the real world, or seven thousand nine hundred seventy-nine dollars for the war room. You gotta check out the war room. Five star. I'm gonna say that's not a real rating. Yeah, this is just a picture of a star repeated five times. This is not a rating. There were no reviews for this. Alright. The War Room is a global network in which exemplars of individualism work to free the modern man from socially induced incarceration. As a peasant, I got you seventy-nine dollars. Seventy-nine, seventy-nine. Also, is that supposed to be blurring a guy's face? It looks like it's just blurring something up. At why am I? Uh, 
what is the oh my god is he is he comparing himself to Martin Luther King Jr. Is he doing this to be like Letter from a Birmingham Jail? No, you cannot. First of all, this is not a letter. This is a video. He does know a lot. Perhaps too much. Hey, come on. I absolutely not renew this. How many different power orcs have they already got? So I've expired. If he a rent references First MLK cancel, on then fucking they make up done. Put you in jail. And then if that fails, they kill you. So now I'm down to my last few lines. Andrew Tate has been arrested in Romania. They decide you're guilty long before and they find a reason why. And it doesn't matter what you do about it, you will pay the fucking price for it. The most common Isn't thing he is free? Birthday and insult your parents and smell unattractive. They want to keep saying He's like, I, I don't think he... They attack you, your character, and can't breathe. Well, cut to that dog. They're attacking me by calling me weird names on the internet. Even though I got, a, I'm pretty sure he got away. Like, he is not in prison or anything right now. He's still rich. Wait, controversial influencer Andrew Tate. Controversial social media personality has been. Controversial is literally slander. Rape and forming an organized. The last piece of truth, and I'll make it very clear here: I would never kill myself under any circumstances ever. When the article comes you know, out, he could do the funniest day, thing ever. I, I just, just pray ultimate for troll. People who are outside of the matrix and are sitting there with you. Okay, I do not you condone suicide. You sit and analyze whether it's your own personal experience that makes you believe something, or it's something someone else. I think that previous statement might get me in trouble. Every belief you hold, before the where it came from, just and then analyze what their intentions are. When you have the youth, the masculine youth of the world, the masculine youth. That's pretty scary for authority. And when I'm sitting there, are they saying top G? Bullshit, become physically strong. Think for yourself. Prioritize your brotherhood above brotherhood. what the fucking matrix is telling you. Do not fly the and matrix. Redu you know, resist the slave mind. All these Take the saying. estrogen. Take the estrogen, Andrew. he would engage in something like that is beyond me. Here's something that Who? is is rather strange. Greta Thunberg, you know who she is, the climate what? activist. He got into a beef with her. Well, within two or three days, he gets arrested. Doesn't sound right. Human trafficking is out she of control. She was arrested out of and what protest. Is the president doing about it? Nothing. And the it happens all the time when you do that and stuff. So do all the left politicians, they understand Epstein. We know there was human what? trafficking there. So the left has a tendency to do this now. This isn't about him getting arrested anymore. This is just with their ideology. It makes no sense. And they can't put you in jail if you're innocent. Yes, they fucking can. I don't think anyone's ever don't said that. Them. Okay, maybe some people have. They do and they fucking will. I'm not a conspiracy guy, but it's all cahoots. If the US embassy he is involved and they go, bro, go in there, get the cameras. I don't think Andrew Tate has faced like any consequences. Anything long term. I'm pretty sure he's still rich and allowed to do whatever the fuck he wants was involved i think the embassy put them up to it but he's being silent which is why we never hear from him ever but also at the same time u.s embassy was involved to go in and taking him down how long is this i'd like to see some evidence they try banning this guy they try shutting him down lies in the media i don't know how much i i i believe it it's so outlandish to assume that he has cheesed off. What is this fucking people. music? The court in Romania has agreed to allow the controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate to leave prison and move into house arrest. The British American former kickboxer has millions of online followers. He's being investigated for a number you of think people who weren't denied. You know, people who aren't insanely rich would get house it arrest instead of like a hero prison. Fight. If Andrew Tate returns to his home in Romania, I truly believe that justice will be served in the end. I may declare my absolute innocence, and I think most people understand this, and uh, look forward to uh, seeing what happens. Oh my god, why is this? 
Oh my god, he has expensive watches. He's so oppressed. He's being silenced. So, <laughs> In my humble opinion, the world doesn't change very much. I don't know if there's anyone as clever about us, and Beverly is clever. Because of the movie. People like Bond are gonna get back. I is that sure. Now you will stop being Bond again. Or sooner or later, there is gonna be a hundred percent change. What was that cut? I Andrew Tate will be a jail killer. Learn more at cobratate.com. The video is uh, I guess maybe this is also on Rumble, but this is just... Okay, I give him props. He did not reference Letter from a Birmingham Jail. He did not directly reference, like, being MLK. So, that took restraint. But also, what the fuck? I want to attend gay shame. <laughs> it's not like gay shame festival. Feral, arid, and femininity. Blonde woman is bio weapon. On Valkyrie, Amazon's camp followers galls. Girl bosses and e girls. And here we can see our favorite failed filmmaker giving us just the most intelligent commentary. It has come to my attention that the Manosphere is not doing well mentally or really at all. Uh, I mean, surely someone out there's got to be okay, right? The Manosphere podcast. Knowledge is power. Common sense and logic. That sounds great. Oh. Oh. Hey. Um. Girls. Women crying. Dating modern women, single mothers, women hitting the wall. You know, for men going their own way, you seem to have a lot of videos about getting mad at women. Ooh, I know. How about return of, of... Well, surely we still have the subreddit. Oh, well, why don't we go right back to the beginning? But you already know what the bit is, so... Game over. So, in conclusion, the Manosphere is batshit insane. And really, really sad. I have... No further statements, and I yield my time to the floor.